Hello, my name is Min, and welcome to my channel. And on this channel, I talk about video games that I'm into. So I wanted to share my Switch physical collection of games. I don't have a ton of physical games, but the ones I do have, I don't know, I thought I'd share them. So this is my bin of like gaming stuff. So we'll start with the first game I got when I got my Switch. I started out with a Switch Lite and the first game I got was obviously Animal Crossing. It was when it first came out and so I feel like obviously I have Animal Crossing. Um, but yeah, so Animal Crossing. The second game I got for my Switch, I believe, was this game, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This was the remake. This is kind of the first game I ever played in my life, um, the, the Game Boy one, um, where I was the only one playing it. I played Nintendo 64 and stuff, but this is what really got me into my love of video games. So when they made the remake, I was like, hey, I'm really excited about that. I just had gotten back into gaming after several years of missing out. So this was really exciting to play. Um, I do actually really, really like this game um, still. And I, I feel like I could go back to it eventually. I just have so many games on my backlog. Um, but yeah, I still find that this is a really good game. They added two characters that are new um, that weren't in the Game Boy versions. And so yeah, I. I love it. I really enjoyed it. I hope they continue to make good games like this. Um, because this next game I'm going to talk about, I didn't love so much. But that's Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. There was a lot of things that were good about it. Like I liked the farming in it and stuff. But the characters I didn't end up loving. That didn't seem like there was a lot of substance to the game. Something was missing. I didn't like that they didn't have like the character portraits. So like look how beautiful these characters are. Like their portraits. And then you don't even see them in the game at all. So I feel like when you have the portraits um, and you're talking to the character and you can see their little portrait. It gives a little more heart than just seeing like. It just looks a lot better than, I don't know, like what they look like in the game, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, so honestly, I wouldn't really suggest this game unless you just like the farming aspect and you just want to do some farming. I don't know. I just didn't love it. You don't even have to talk to anyone in the town, honestly, at all. That's how it felt to me. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this game. Um, I don't know what... The next one I got, I think, was this. So Rune Factory 4 Special. So I had never played this game before ever, which is crazy because I loved Harvest Moon, but it was like I just replayed that game over and over and over and over again. I didn't need any other games when I was younger. Um, but then as I got older and I was like, hey, I already played that game like a bil billion times through, played the remake, and I'm like, yeah, this is pretty much the same thing, different art, different different elements to it, but I just needed something else. So I just looked up what other games Marvelous made and I found this, and it's actually a 3DS game, but they put it on the Switch somehow. I started playing this game, I ended up loving it, loving it. If you haven't played this, it's so good. It's like farming and has a great story, really amazing characters and character development. I loved the characters and you find new ones as you go through. I just felt like it had like a beginning and an end to the game, but you could also play forever if you wanted to. I loved how in depth the characters were literally every single day they would say something different to you <laughs> it was pretty crazy there was so much dialogue but yeah that's what i love about a game is to feel fully submerged into it and i felt like i got that with this game then i had always wanted this game the legend of zelda so when i didn't end up getting it for christmas i went and bought it myself um and i've really liked it i've played about 50 hours haven't beat it yet just kind of been in a lull with it. I'll play it every so often and I can pick it up again and it'll be fine. But yeah, I just haven't beat it. Don't know if I ever will, but maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so then after that, I upgraded my Switch from a Switch Lite to the Animal Crossing Switch on my birthday. It was a gift and so I was really happy about that. Um, and I ended up getting Super Mario Party, which my husband gave me for my birthday as well and then I got Mario Kart because you know those are games I can play with other people 
they're super fun and I don't really play them by myself but I do like having them around to play with friends so my most recent physical pick game pickup is Rune Factory 5. So I haven't really gotten too far into it yet. I think I've only played like three to five hours. Um, and I think honestly I was burnt out a little bit from 4, Rune Factory 4, because I had grinded so hard to finish the game for this one's release that I ended up wearing myself out and played only like a couple hours of it and then wanted to just play Stardew Valley and other things that I was into. So yeah, I got this game. I really love the cover art. The characters are beautiful and I think I'm going to end up loving the game. Um, the art style is a lot different, which I don't know how other people feel about the graphics and stuff, but I personally would have liked this game maybe even more and maybe been easier to get into if it had the graphics the same way that Rune Factory 4 does. Like, I don't mind those graphics at all. I actually really like those. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of wish that this one was like that because it's, I find it easier to do combat. I find it easier just to walk around to know where everything is in town. And some of that stuff, I think, in this game has been hard for me to figure out the mechanics, how to do everything. I don't know. Just the controls have been kind of weird for me. But, yeah, I just need to get into it. I've watched some tip videos on things I need to do and get myself, you know, emerged in the game. Hopefully I'll end up playing this, finishing it up, and letting you guys know what I think eventually, maybe? I don't know. So those are actually all of my physical games. Um, with a couple of them, I ordered special edition. So with the Story of Seasons Mineral Town, I ordered pre-order and I got this little pink strawberry cow. With the Olive Town, I ordered the pre-order or the special edition, I don't know. And I got this box with the game and with like this little i don't know what this is poster or i don't know i was using it as like a mat under my setup here for a while my like gaming setup <laughs> but i didn't really know what to do with it now i'm just keeping it in the box i didn't end up loving the game and so i just figured i'll just put it back in the box for now um i also got this little what buffalo and so now i have both of these so I really think they're adorable and if they come out with another I might just order the pre-order or whatever it's called because I want to keep collecting those little plushies because they're so cute to me but yeah so that's my whole collection of games I have one two three four five six seven eight games and I've played all of them a little bit dipped my toes into some um, now those are all the games I have. I have several games that are just digital and so if you want to see a video with all of my digital games let me know and I can go through that. If you liked this video please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. I think that would be super fun to get some you know more friends who are interested in gaming and stuff. You could also check me out on my Instagram. It's at nintendo.gaming and that'll be linked or just put down in my description box. Yeah, I have other videos here where I'm playing a game, I'm playing Dinkum. You can check that out and yeah, see some other videos. I'm trying to be more consistent on the channel. So yeah, I would appreciate any support that I could get and I hope you have a great day and I hope I see you in my next video. All right, bye.